All right, Jay, thanks. The Milwaukee Archdiocese celebrated a special mass this afternoon. Tom Murray is live in St. Francis with that part of our breaking news coverage. Tom? Well, good evening. The Archbishop says he was at his computer with the TV on in the background when he first saw the white smoke emerge. He just finished presiding over Mass here at this chapel at St. Francis Seminary. The Archbishop says the most important thing that Catholics can give back to the new Pope is prayers. A quickly called Mass at the Christ King Chapel in St. Francis Seminary. The Archbishop calling the new Pope a shepherd, laying down his life to be the leader and face of the Catholic Church. He's laying it out. He's laying it down. He's foregoing whatever personal things he might want. Uh, and that's a, a tremendous, that's a tremendous gift that this man is now giving to the church. A tremendous gift. Archbishop Lestecki says even he was surprised how quickly the Cardinals elected the new pontiff. You know, I, I, I was waiting for the black smoke basically to come out. And if you, you notice right away when it first came out, there, there was like black, that was the residual smoke from the, the last burn, I think, you know. Uh, and so everybody said, oh, it's black. And then somebody says, no, it looks gray. And everybody waited and said, it is white. It's white, you know, and it was a shock on, on everyone's face. Now, we just spoke with a Milwaukee priest who is originally from South America. He says he cried when he learned that the new pope is from South America as well. You will hear from him coming up tonight at 6. We also asked the archbishop about Cardinal Dolan. Some were hoping that maybe he would be the next pope. The archbishop's reaction to that coming up tonight on Live at 6. For now, live in St. Francis, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. Looking forward to that, Tom. Thanks. A big day for students as well. And at Catholic Memorial High School in Waukesha, they were celebrating the election of a new pope. Lacey Crisp is live with that part of our coverage. Lacey? That's right. Students here waited anxiously to hear who the new leader of the Catholic Church would be. Of course, they were hoping a familiar face would walk out onto that balcony. It would be awesome if Timothy Dolan, um, the old Archbishop of Milwaukee, was out there. It would be really cool. Dolan was a regular visitor to this school, and he confirmed many students here. The fact that I would have been able to say that I had dinner with the Pope would have been would have been pretty cool. They anxiously watched in the school's auditorium as Pope Francis was announced. Are you a little disappointed it wasn't Dolan? Yes, I am. Father Paul Hartman is thrilled to have a new leader. He admits he's a little disappointed it wasn't a man he considers a friend. Were you expecting Dolan to come out onto the balcony? I was hoping. There's a part of me that would always hope. I, I worked for the man for seven years uh, just to truly love and respect him. But I knew it's it's a worldwide church. Father Hartman argues by selecting a pope from Argentina, it sends a message to the world of Catholics. Well, it says that the church universal, all the cardinals together, realize how the vitality of the church needs to move a little bit, maybe out of Europe to Latin America. And we'll explain what these students hope the next pope can accomplish coming up tonight at 6. On your side live in Waukesha, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4. Okay, Lacey, thank you. Well, students in Whitefish Bay also watched the naming of the new pope. Jermont Terry has that part of our coverage. The election of the new pope drew attention from Catholics from all over. Here at St. Monica, students, parents, and even the priests couldn't wait to see who stepped out on that balcony. As Tina Luna picks up her three daughters from St. Monica and Whitefish Bay, there's no doubt the topic on the drive home is about Pope Francis. I didn't want to get out of my car. I was um, in my car and I was praying along with the Pope. It was just, it's a very exciting time for the Catholics. While mom listened on the car radio, her daughters spent the day glued to the television. They've been so involved in it here and all three of my children just came out and said, we have a new Pope. We sat on the floor for an hour to finally figure out, so. So I'm excited. The excitement for the new pope stretches all the way to Father Jerry Herder. The Catholic Church does it well. The the kind of the, the secrecy behind it. While the world waited to see who would step on the balcony, Father Jerry says it's no surprise the new pope is from Argentina. Because that's really where the Catholics are right now. And while many local Catholics were wishing Cardinal Dolan would have a chance, Father Jerry admits he's pleased with the outcome. Because I think he's needed still in the United States. Now that the guessing is over, the focus is now on the church's new leader. I just hope that he can lead this world that's in such turmoil right now to a better place. Now that Pope Francis is 
is elected. Catholics I talk to say they pray that he can move the church forward. On your side, in Whitefish Bay, I'm Jermont Terry, today's CMJ4. All right, Jermont, thanks. Pope Francis may not have been at the top of everyone's speculation list to replace Benedict XVI, but that doesn't mean he's not a top pick to lead the Catholic Church. Vatican consultant and Marquette University professor Bill Thorne says Francis is a modest man. He lives the life that Francis would have encouraged, and even Ignatius, uh, a life where he doesn't want a chauffeur because he takes the bus to go every place, where he cooks for himself. And former Channel 4 sports anchor Bob Dolan is Cardinal Timothy Dolan's brother. And he talked to Charlie Sykes on News Radio 620 WTMJ this morning. Once I think about it, I'm going to be so grateful to have him back home in the country back to New York. I'm going to be very grateful that my, my relationship with my brother will not change. Because imagine if he becomes Pope Charlie, you know, our relationship as brothers will change forever, obviously. Um, so changes. just a disappointment for the worldwide church, because I think he'd be an excellent Pope. However, selfishly, I, I'd love to have him back home.